disappointing. The best way I can describe this movie is disappointing. They had a bunch of source material to pull from. Hell, the movie wasn't even the first one to do this. They had comic books. They had video games. They even had a whole fucking toy line surrounding this idea. What does the movie do? Jack shit until the final half of it. Here's the best way I can describe this movie to you. Also, welcome back to Revenge of 31 Days of Horror. Today we're looking at Alien vs. Predator. Here's the best way I can describe this movie to you. Half of it is fantastic. You know, like, the, the second half is freaking amazing. It has no dialogue. You have the Predator teaming up with this one survivor girl that's mostly generic, but she's okay as a badass heroine. I can get over that. And they fight the queen alien. They fight a bunch of other aliens. Like, when it's actually Alien vs. Predator, it's fucking awesome and everything you want to see. Problem is, you have to deal with the first half that's complete and total generic horror movie trash. With terrible writing. Abysmally stupid characters. Shitty kills because this is PG-13. Terrible effects. Crappy directing from Paul W.S. Anderson. Yes, the same asshole that made all the absolutely dreadfully awful Resident Evil films that I'm not going to touch. So don't ask me to review them because I don't even want to fucking touch them. And just a plot that's stupid. Like, really? It's all about this pyramid they find buried under the ice in Antarctica and then it time travels into it. No, that doesn't time travel. It ties into, like, these ancient ruins and shit about predators and how they use aliens for hunting game until they overwhelm them. That's dumb. That is so dumb. And most of the movie, we're stuck in this boring-ass setting. Like, ancient temples aren't a terrible idea, but this ancient temple specifically is really, really bad. Because it's not interesting, it's not unique, it's not actually memorable. It's just like every shitty generic temple you see in every other shitty generic horror movie. And then, like I said, the kills are shit. And let's not forget the CGI. Ugh, that CGI is so bad. But like I said, it's saved from being a complete insipid pile of garbage by the second half of the movie. Where... You have the main predator named, I think it's Scar. Yeah, I'm going to say Scar. Scar. And he teams up with the last survivor, this female girl. And they fight aliens. And she gets to have, like, an alien tail spear and an alien head shield to protect her from the acid blood. That is fucking awesome. And then they fight the queen alien. That's fucking awesome. They have a chase through a boneyard. That's fucking awesome. Like, the whole second half of the movie almost completely saves the first half because it's so cool, it's so everything you want it to be, and there's no di shitty fucking dialogue to ruin it. It's all just done through show, not tell philosophy, which is what the whole fucking movie should have been about. Instead, we were stuck with shitty characters and terrible writing and awful CGI and crappy fucking locations and bullshit for the entire first half. And then the second half, it suddenly becomes the movie that it should have been in the fucking first place. So I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe it's Paul W.S. Anderson just being a shitty director. Maybe it's some kind of stupid corporate bullshit that happened behind the scenes. I don't know. All I know is that this movie could have been so much better than it actually is, and it still pisses me the fuck off that this wasn't as awesome as Freddy vs. Jason. At least with that movie, despite having all those shitty human characters, we got to see Freddy vs. fucking Jason. Here, we don't get Alien vs. Predator until the second half of the movie. With At least with Freddy vs. Jason, you got like two or three fights with the two of them. And it wasn't in just the second half of the movie. There was one in the first half, somewhat, and then you had, like, the whole setup, and then you had the main event in the real world after fighting in the dream realm, and then you had the fight on the dock, which was bloody and gory as it should have been, because it was actually R-rated and they had fucking balls. This was just 
PG-13 to death. Sift through our bullshit just so you can watch a better half of a movie that it should have been in the first place. You know why? Because fuck you gave me money, that's why. Sound fun to you? Doesn't sound fun to me. It's a one and done at best. And if you want to rewatch this movie, fine, go ahead. But point is, the second half is the movie that we should have gotten the whole time instead of the entire stupid bullshit we got in the first half. The first half of the movie sucks and is absolute shit, but the second half is amazing. And because of that, it gets a frustrating final verdict of a 6 out of 10. It was so fucking close to being something great. Like, if again, if it was just the whole second half of that movie was the entire movie, we would have had something cool. But instead, we got stuck with shitty characters and terrible writing for the entire first half of the movie, which really harmed the experience. Then, you, again, you add in the bad directing, the terrible CGI, the shit writing, and it's just a fucking mess. But, again, it's saved by a great second half that actually knows what the fuck to do with this kind of premise. So. Yeah, that's my frustrating review of Alien vs. Predator. It should have been a lot better than it was, and it, it gives me even more appreciation for Freddy vs. Jason, because at least they knew what the fucking audience wanted. And yes, the characters were shit, but that's usual slasher fodder. This was trying to be like a big crossover event with a big budget and a big name behind it, and instead it just falls on its fucking face. And literally has to like crawl it, dig itself out of a fucking hole in the second half. Thumbnail pretty much summed it all up. Half is good, half is shit. That's my review of Alien vs. Predator. But hey, it's better than the sequel, which despite getting an R rating, was somehow even fucking worse than this shit. See you next time for Shadows vs. Silhouettes. I mean, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I mean... Shadows vs. Silhouettes.